you can see here that the cable has now made it into the engine hole into the engine bay I'm sorry I went underneath the fuse box bracket yeah you could try to go in front of it or behind it if you don't want to go under it's very easy to go under and it gives it a straight as possible flow I'm gonna go underneath these hoses and then into the engine uh, transom so we have the stationary clip we have the washer I'm gonna slide this through and then we're gonna do our own version of a of a glue job the other side of the transom we're gonna have another large washer with a nut to retain everything in its position I'm gonna go with a marine sealant or RTV sealant I think either red or black and for the steering rail I'm going with these replacement stainless steel half inch uh, bolts the ones that are on there are one inch long but they're overkill um, and I was going to struggle with a one inch long bolt trying to get it back in there uh, I think a couple of them I even bent so also one thing I noticed is that I need this lock washer so I'm going to go with that the new kit didn't have a lock washer this is the uh, I don't know what this is is this the old nut and washer something's weird going on I don't know like where this just came from this obviously looks like I don't know I'll figure it out but this is the new stuff and that's what fits but I will use this I think it'll be a great addition to the to the um, to the repair and then again I'm using these stainless on the steering up in the front to hold the bracket I went with a much shorter uh, bolt because that will be more than enough to hold the rail to the steering assembly.